Rule the game. Hello and welcome back to Rule the Game. In this video, I just want to give you my personal opinion on the game Let's Go to Japan by Josh Wood, published by AG. I have a different video where I show you how to play this game, but here I just want to tell you how much I like the game, and I did like the game quite a lot. The aim of the game is to set up an itinerary on what you want to see when you go to Japan for six days. Well, actually, you're not only going to see Tokyo and Kyoto, but those are two big cities. There's plenty to see, and there's lots of good stuff to do. Now, this is totally my kind of game because it's a game, a puzzle game, kind of, where you're trying to match cards so that you get extra bonuses and so on. And you can build up a midterm strategy throughout the game to get more and more points. Having said that, it's clear that this is not a beginner's game. This is definitely for advanced players, but everybody will always get points in this game, so nobody really feels too bad. The tricky thing really is to get to what is called the highlights of the day, where you get a bonus for each day that you planned properly. And that turns into a brain buster, trying to figure out what on earth do I do with all these cards? Where do I place these cards? But it's a very, it, it's not a short game. It lasts 45 minutes, but everybody is always active. And I love these games where everybody's always active. And that's the case here. Everybody gets cards at the same time. Everybody's trying to put together a puzzle and then you hand over your cards. Some other person gets your cards and they will later on use them and they might even give them back to you. And at some point you wonder why you get the sushi for the third time. But this is, this is the excitement of the, the game. It's not a game that has very new mechanisms, but it really combines these mechanisms quite nicely. And we've played it with a few people now and everybody really enjoyed the, the action of the game. Again, if you do it late at night, maybe that's not the right thing to do when people are tired because it is a puzzle game. But everybody liked to put together this, this itinerary and had one friend who came over and we played all 13 rounds of the game. We haven't scored a thing yet. And he was like, I love this game. I don't even care how I did. But it was amazing putting together this trip and now I want to go to Japan. So it, it really is an exciting game. Again, I would say rather for, for the puzzle people, uh, there's no combat against anybody. You don't really play against anybody else. You puzzle by yourself. And, and that's all it is. Have a look at the instructions that I have in a different video. I have linked them down in the description, but also at the very beginning of this video. So that you maybe get to see a little more about what this is all about. And other than that, I hope you're going to enjoy the game. And I'm looking forward to having you back here on the channel.